We're here, Costco of the Philippines. It's not called Costco, it's called SNR, but it's basically their Costco. We just got here, so I got to pick up a lot of things. I want to show you what it's like. They have a lot of American products here, so it feels just like America compared to all the other places. Look, a little pizza oven right there. I wasn't recording before, so I had to reintroduce you. I'm here with RJ. <laughs> we're staying here in the Philippines with him and Mikey, so we're gonna go see what they got here. First thing I see is Cheesecake Factory Cheesecake. Drumstick, see what I'm saying? It's basically America. Now this looks amazing. White Rabbit Cones. I might have to get that, but I'm gonna wait till later. Buko Pandan. Coconut Jelly Ice Cream. Okay, this is so cool. Peanuts nougat? I'm seeing things that they definitely don't have in America. Of course, we have Snickers ice cream, but do we have Pepero? No. I'm genuinely shocked to see this. Milk ice cream. Milk is a famous dessert shop from New York City, and they have an awesome ice cream, and now they sell it here. Cereal milk. I feel I should buy this for Mikey and RJ so they can try it because they probably would never get it. One of the things I'm gonna get is stuff for burgers because I asked Mikey what he wants and I said, just name the top three foods. Just tell me what you like to eat, your favorite cuisine, and he said burgers. So I'm like, burgers and fries, faux show. And look what I see here, burger buns. I feel bad for RJ. He's probably just thinking, yeah, we're gonna pick up a few things and I'm here taking a little tour checking out every single, literally every single aisle, every single product, but he said he didn't mind. Let's get some butter. Normally I just buy whatever is local, but New Zealand butter, I just wanna try it. I'm gonna buy a couple things of these. I made eggs for everybody, which if you are curious, you can go see it on Mikey's vlog channel. Good old craft singles. I'm assuming this probably tastes just like the craft in America. Go ahead and get one of these. Shred your cheese as much as you can. So one big difference I've already noticed is even though this is their Costco, not everything is necessarily in bulk, including the milk. You know, when we do the half gallon, we do four half gallons, it's a huge box. You can just buy a whole thing of milk by itself. You don't have to buy it in a box. So so this is something that's very common in Asia for them to package fruit individually, or when I say individually, pre-packaged in packs like this. Normally you would see it uh, by itself and you pick however much you want, or you'll see it packed in a bag, but like they got a tray, plastic. Here's something else you don't see in a Costco in America. Tropical fruits, look at this. Longan, cherries. Where are these cherries from? Cherries aren't in season, so that's interesting. Warmer climate, you can probably grow all kinds of stuff here. Or maybe they get it from another place where they can. Different. I mean, we are on the other side of the equator too. I already know this is gonna be the most shocking part of this whole video. Their eggs are not refrigerated. If you follow us, we keep our eggs out because it's totally fine. I've done it for over 10 years. Never keep my eggs in the fridge. And they say it's even better if it's not in the fridge at all. So enriched specialty eggs. So these are the eggs that they had at Mikey and RJ's. The golden yolk, they really are golden. I'm gonna go ahead and get these. Of course, I'm gonna beat that guy, I'm not gonna Get it from the front, get it from the middle. There we go. Those look good. Look at this, it's a juice machine. Oh, you do it yourself? Huh, that is, I've never seen that before. That's cool. I'm assuming somebody helps you with this because I would not feel comfortable doing it myself. Sushi, anyone? I don't think I would try this sushi though. Spicy tuna roll. That's legit just tuna from a can. That's funny. Hey, you know what they do have in bulk? Meat. Look at these huge packs of pork. Lots of pork. Filipinos love their pork. I love pork too. All right, so I'm gonna get their ground beef. And I noticed the color difference. This one's a little more whitish. This one's reddish. It's because this is 90%. This is leaner. This is 80% more fat, which frankly you want. You want the fat, but I don't know. 
I don't know. I might go with less fat. Let's go with this one. Premium steaks. RJ was saying this is where you get that grass-fed American cut. That's funny, that's, that's what it's called. It's called American cut. I'm gonna cook the burgers outside on the grill and since it's already gonna be hot, I'm gonna grill up some steaks anyways. I'm just gonna grab them because I'm curious how they taste. Wonder if these are from America. Well, they look like they are from America. You're seriously okay that I'm just... Yeah. I'm just exploring right now? It's already been like 30 minutes and I haven't even scratch the surface here. Nice, Mikey, I'm still, I have to wait for Mikey. Yeah. Let's say if you shop for, for his uh, okay. advanced cabinet equipment, yeah. like Cardi yeah. it's, it's like super hot. Yeah. It takes like four or five hours. Four or five. Okay, well, now I don't feel so bad. Four or five hours? <laughs> this is not gonna take that. Maybe an hour tops. Girls would love that. Hash browns. Whoa, look at this. French fries, exactly what I needed. I told Mikey I was gonna make French fries, and um, I will. Frozen french fries are it, but I'm gonna grab these last since we're gonna explore. One huge difference between grocery stores in America and literally everywhere else. Look how small their cereal option is. This is just like other things, peanut butter, pancake mix, maybe some Quaker oats or oatmeal. And then this is all the cereal because in America, this whole aisle would be cereal. <laughs> but you better believe it, I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and the Cheerios and the Fruit Loops. I don't see anything unique here though because cereal really is, it's America's thing. You don't see it as often in other places. So this is another thing in America that is unusual but shelf stable milk. Milk that is in a box and can just sit here for a really long time. In fact, let's see what the expiration is on this guy. September 2024. This this stays good for a whole year. Definitely something that's very Asian. As you can see, it says product of Korea. Japan too. Banana milk. I've never seen this. Melon milk? I've drank this as a kid, but I've never seen it. Okay, it's just getting weirder and weirder. Oh, it's not really that weird, weird but they got all the fruits here. I should make him this. Look, even their potato chip bags aren't as big. I'll make them the bear sour cream and onion omelet. Buy two of these guys. That would be so fun. I've never done it before. And that would just be fun to cook for them. This is a first. I'm sure we have this somewhere in America. Shelf stable. Well, I guess that's normal, but nacho cheese sauce in a big can. This is a brand that we don't have. Prem feels a little lighter. Let's see, let's compare it to Spam. Mm, no, that feels kind of light too, 25% less. See, if this was truly Costco, the whole box would come, but you can buy it individually. This is kind of like a cross between a Costco and a, a uh, what do you call it, grocery store. I've never bought this, but of course, we do have this in America. Canned ham. Look at this. Iberco? That's some really nice stuff. Okay, okay, okay. What the? Dude, we don't have this. I've never seen this in my whole life. I take back what I just said. I said we'd have a whole box. No, they got a whole freaking can, like the giant can. Look how it's as big as my head. Jeez Louise. Spam, what's up? Why don't you have that in America? Come on now. So RJ was saying he really wants red sauce. What? Look at that. They got the rows here. Um, maybe I should just grab this. Just as, you know, to cut it a little bit. Get one tomato paste. This is unique here too. Sauce in a bag. They have a lot of foods in a bag. Yeah. Never seen that in America. Green cap right here. Look, I got the good old curry. Assuming people like the Japanese curry. Oh, look at this, curry sauce with vegetables. I've just never seen this brand. This is common though in Japan. Not in America though. All right, so I'm gonna make some french fries and the question is what kind of oil options do we have? We got vegetable, it looks like coconut oil. Thing to go for would be peanut oil or duck fat, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get duck fat. How did they get Kirkland brand? This is why I say this is this is a Costco, because they have a lot of Kirkland brand. How did they get it, huh? I'm gonna go for this 
sunflower and canola oil mix. So the girls do love this <laughs> Vienna sausage, but I don't know if I want to buy a whole thing of Vienna sausage, though they freaking would eat just about all of that. RJ, you said this was not Costco. This is a Costco brand, Kirkland. How, how is know. this here? How. how did they get this? Kirkland? Is this a fake Kirkland? No, 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 no. It's, it's for sure. It's, it's so how did they get original. it? How did they get I'm, this? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these. Kirkland brand. What's going on here? Cucumbers. Make a quick pickle with these. The girls are like this. You're cold right here. Because it's a Japanese brand, right? Yeah, it is Japanese. I'm back for the buns. I guess we'll go for these. How many? There's six for me and the girls. That'll be a one right there. Damn, that's cheap. That is freaking cheap right there. I asked RJ if we could get this, if he minded, because, you know, I'm a guest at his house. He probably has all kinds of things for the girls. And then he got really excited. Like, literally, RJ <laughs> turned into a kid for a second. He's like, have you had buko pandan? I was like, no, but we're gonna get it. The way you were smiling, I want my girls to smile like that. So this is what we're gonna get right here. Is this Parmesan? A Parmesan Reggiano. This, this is what we're gonna get right there. So I wanna make this special chive and cheese omelet. And he says that they don't have chives. I can't believe it. They gotta have chives here for else. They gotta have chives. That'd be so crazy if they don't have chives. They definitely don't have a lot of herbs here. Parsley, that's, that's all they got? No chives? Wow. I am shocked right now. No chives? Wait, that's what I'm talking about, baby. That's kind of a lie, man. Shit, they went from, he's saying they have no chives to like way too many chives. Kind of dirty, I'll have to wash those. You have to have the chives for the omelet. The potato chip omelet, oh gotta have the chives. They had chives, look oh, at this. Goodness. And you know what's funny? They have way too many chives, but that's so cheap. Less than a dollar. You couldn't even buy chives for a dollar in America. It would cost, that thing right there would cost like 20 bucks. Okay, cool, I'm good. I'm good to go. Okay, RJ asked me, is this Costco in the Philippines similar to Costco in America? And I would have to say no, and I'll tell you why. This bag, mm -hmm. This bag would be three times the size. This is tiny. You find this at a gas station yeah. in America. This would be three times the size, okay? It has a big one. Big ones, okay? Oh, you would never buy just six buns. You'd buy maybe like 30, 30 buns, okay? Uh, another thing, this sauce, they have this, but you have to buy two. You can't just buy one. Okay, this being like literally less than a dollar, no, you'd buy the, um, the tub that lasts you a la lifetime. <laughs> so those are the things that are much different. And they don't have these smaller items. Instead of buying just one thing of butter, you would buy equivalent to 10 of these. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it. And he said this is a place to go for the high quality stuff, but it ain't no Costco. But you know, Costco is really wholesale when you want to buy a lot. This was perfect for what we need today. Is there a gas station here? Gas station? Yeah. yeah. I don't miss you. SNR? No, no, we don't. See, in America, the Costco has a gas station too. So they want it, They want all your money. So everything. <laughs> Furniture, gas, food, memberships to everything. They, RJ, something really popular that I do is I kind of, uh, I kind of guess how much this all costs. You watch it? Um, so if I were to buy all this in America, this would easily cost 150 to 200 bucks, all this. What do you think it's gonna cost here? I know that was in US dollars, not fair because it's all in peso, but you can tell me in peso how much you think it's gonna cost, right? And then we'll convert it. No, I think it's about 150. 150 bucks, it'll be 150, yeah. See. In fact, I would even say this would easily be 200 or more, especially with these steaks. So the meat. Yeah, the meat, see? And this is Ameri is this from America? It says American cut steak. We would never describe, but it says USDA choice. So it must be from America. Yeah, let's see in pesos how much this all is. I'm, I'm telling you, things are way cheaper though. Like how much was this? That's pretty expensive. Papa would love this right here. Super garlic mix. It ain't just the garlic mix. This is a super garlic mix. All right, so the total, $10,322.
No, I'm just kidding. 10,322 pesos, Filipino pesos, $187. That's about right. But guess what? Now that I um, think about it, those steaks, I mean, those are super premium steaks would cost way more. Now I'm not saying it's cheaper, but definitely some things are cheaper. Like the vegetables, way cheaper. Um, like these buns, way cheaper here. It's really just all these American products. But if you were to buy all Filipino brands, yeah, this would have been a lot cheaper. But also, they don't buy in bulk like this. They don't have bigger packages or volumes. They, they just buy smaller amounts. Naturally, they have their own food court. Big taste, big fun. Sounds amazing. I got some pasta, a salad, burger. Fried chicken, oh my gosh. This seems pretty dangerous here, I'm telling you. I don't know, this would be kind of a no-go. Yeah, this would be a no-go. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I was gonna say no-go in America because um, it seems like a huge liability. <laughs> I don't even have to uh, hold on to this cart. Is this a magnet? This, it's holding onto the cart for me. Okay. Hey, look, uh, we don't have this. This is a big, big no. Look, I'm, I'm showing you. This is a downward slope. And look, boop. I'm not gonna do it too long because that seems dangerous. But huh? Costco doesn't have this. And what's interesting is the parking lot is underneath the building here. Hence why they have the what do you call these walkalators? That's that is really cool. And then what, is it gonna just release? Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Our Costco's don't have this. Wanna buy a house? <laughs> Bye, Costco of the Philippines, or better known as SNR.